Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So you got to try it by seeing the title. I'm getting a new camera. I'm getting a lot of stuff with the camera. So uh, I'm not going to tell you which camera it is, but if you've seen my previous vlog, the New York trip season finale episode three, you can guess which camera I'm getting. I just placed the order. Uh, today is Friday and the delivery is expected to be either on Monday or Tuesday. So we got a lot of unboxing to do. So quite excited. I will continue this vlog from the day I get the delivery. Also, it is snowing in the Clemson for the first time. I mean, when I was in New Jersey, I, just, I, snow, I saw snow for the first time, but in Clemson, it is first time. Let's go outside and let's see. Actually, this is the first time I'm watching uh, snow fall in New Jersey. By the time I woke up, like snow was not falling. It, it, like there was a snowstorm at night, but now I'm actually able to see snow fall. See, but I don't know. It's irritating. It's it's actually wet. Someone made a, a snowman here. It's actually nice. So I just came from the campus. I had two classes back to back. So I did not know that my package was actually delivered. I got a message, but I did not see until uh, I started from the campus. But my roommates picked up my delivery, my YouTube gear camera and all. So I have some work. After that work, let's unbox that. Three hours later. So these are all the accessory stuff. But I don't know if everything's delivered. I have to open the box and see because I ordered it at once. So let's keep this aside for last. Okay, I think this is the bill, invoice, and all. Okay, cool. Good, yeah, I actually like the packing, but the only thing I had problem with BNH, you know, like I agree that uh, weather was not good, weather was very harsh, it was snowing, they couldn't deliver it, but it would have been good if they have informed me. I was waiting for the package, the package did not come, so I raised a complaint, I raised a ticket in BS Studio, and then they informed that it will be delivered after two or three days, so that's the only thing I, I'm disappointed with, but package is really good, packing. I mean the bubbles and all. So, I mean there are a lot, I don't know what to open actually. Let me show you. <laughs> Let's see, I'll not open the camera first. I'll, I'll open the accessories and then let's go to camera. Let's open this. So I ordered a memory card which is 128GB and which is capable of uh, recording 4K in my camera. I'm not going to tell the camera name. <laughs> so it has up to 170 MBPS of speed to read and write. So I think this, this should work with my camera. And I've also ordered an extra battery, a battery, which is called NPFZ100, which is also used in 
full frame enough you should be able to tell what my camera is it's not a full frame but full frame cap battery is used there is only one APS-C camera mirrorless in which NPFZ100 batteries are used so I ordered an extra battery I mean with the box you get obviously one battery but I ordered an extra one and an extra memory card let's keep this aside uh, uh, I don't know what exactly is this ah this is a shoe mount for my camera so I'll tell you about this shoe mount later so let's see let's see yes so this is the tripod I ordered Mantis Pod Pro I'll unbox this later but the design of this tripod is really amazing I almost went to purchase Job Joby 3K or 5K 3K Pro but then in the last moment I saw a YouTube video of this Mantis Pod Pro it's really amazing the design I mean as a designer myself I was like really it was like really cool to me so I bought this I'll, I'll unbox this later so ah, this is the lens so it is Sigma 16mm f1.4 lens so this is the lens I purchased for my vlogging I also bought another telephoto lens I mean for photography thing so I will even unbox this later packing is good yeah actually it is completely packed so I bought another telephoto lens which is uh, 55 to 210 mm lens ranges from f4.5 to 6.8 so even let's unbox this later uh, uh, uh. so I ordered this bag for my gear for my camera lenses and all tripod and stuff so this is the bag so here is the camera ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. <laughs> So yeah, it is Sony A6600, this is the camera I ordered, so let's unbox this, so let's open this, oh. so we get some basic paperwork, I think it has warranty and all, which we will see later. And we have a strap, Sony shoulder strap. I don't know how much I'll, I'm going to use this. In fact, this is the first time I'm using a camera, professional camera. So I don't know. Let's see. And then we got a charging brick and an AC adapter. I mean, if you want to charge your camera, and this is USB to micro USB. Go to the camera. Oh, man. Wow. Feels so good. Yeah. I, I just hate this. This makes sound when you vlog. I mean, this was sturdy for Sony A7S3 and all, but I don't know why they didn't make this sturdy for this Sony A6600. Nevertheless, we'll find some jugat for this. But look at the camera, man. Wow. Camera man, it feels so premium, it feels so good. Nice. Now let's unbox the lens. Again, paper, the papers, paperwork, documents, and all, <laughs> which we don't need. Bro, what is this? It looks like an egg tray. <laughs> Damn. Wow. 
Wow. This is as heavy as camera, if I'm not wrong. Yes. This is as heavy as camera. Lens hood. We have the lens. Wow. Feels so good, man. I don't know how to use these cameras and all I have to learn, but <laughs> unboxing feels good actually. Now let's unbox this 55 to 210 mm lens. This one I bought it solely for photography. I mean, this is, I think this is the cheapest telephoto lens you can find. I mean, it does a great job for the beginner. So you have the paperwork and all here in the side component. Let's leave it there. This is the lens. Wow, this is so small actually, this is compact. It also has a lens hood. It is currently at 55mm actually, but I think... Yeah, this is 210mm completely. It's actually small for a 210mm lens. I've seen 200mm lens which are more heavier than this and more bigger than this, but it's actually small for 210mm lens. Wow, let's keep this aside. I also bought a rig. You get an LNK. This is the rig, so basically we have our mic mount here, but when you when you like when you're logging, you need this display to be up so that you can see yourself. And if your mic comes like mic is placed here, you cannot see the screen. So basically this rig is used so that you can keep the mic at the side so that you can see the screen. So yeah. This is a good investment if you have a Sony A66, I mean A6000 series camera. So let's keep this aside and now let's unbox the tripod. This is like the, my fa favorite part, I mean apart from the camera, favorite accessory. Like I really like this design and I'll show you. Okay, we have the starter guide. See. You can use this tripod in these many ways. You can use it as a, as a standard tripod, logging. You can extend it, of course. You can use it even more wider from yourself. Like you can push it away from yourself by opening this, which gives you a more wide angle. Like already my lens is 16 mm. For an APS-C camera, it is a wide angle lens, but this gives, I mean, this, the if, if I use tripod in this manner, it would be more wide. So I liked it. This is the tripod and this is the mount here. This is the mount on which the camera goes. This one goes here. I don't know how to put it. I have to learn. <laughs> but yeah, this is like we still have a bag, a travel tripod and an ND filter to unbox. is not that good but I think it's fine we can calm chala sakta oh nice yes, this is actually nice so this is Neewer's travel tripod. I mean the company name is Neewer but I don't know what model exactly is it. But I know for the fact that this is the only carbon fiber tripod which is under $100. It was $90 or something but uh, I got some student discount on it. I, I got it for $74 or something. But yeah, this is good. I mean 
carbon fiber is good it is light and it is stronger than aluminum so but it has many functionalities like you can even turn this into a monopod i don't know how to once i know once i learn how to do that probably in next vlog when you go when we go to shoot some photos we'll take this i'll then show you I also got this eyepiece for my viewfinder. This is called viewfinder, right? I guess. I guess I have to put it this way or somewhere. I don't know. I have to learn. I'll I'll set up the whole camera, and then I'll show you. the battery which came with the camera was not charged so i'm charging it so i just charged it i think now it should be enough like 20 25% i guess i don't know so let's see first let's open this e mount cap so you see this white dot there is a yeah this white dot this white dot goes with this white dot so we need to align that let me do that we align that and you hear that click yep that means the camera is set oh my god this is big <laughs> let's remove the lens cap and let's turn on this Wow. So currently this is in my old mobile. So I made some settings by watching YouTube video, but I did not set the whole camera. I just set the ISO setting, shot speed and all. So let's see how the footage comes. So the next footage you see will be from my Sony A6600 plus F1.4 16mm Sigma lens. So let's go. So this is how it looks. I don't know how good the footage is, but I'm able to see that my shot footage is a little sharp. I can see it in the display, my camera display. But yeah, I think it's good. My eye is being detected. My face is being detected. I I, I set that all up with the help of one of my friends. Which I think it looks good. I don't know. Maybe the more I learn about the camera, the better the footage gets. But for now, yeah, this is. This is the clarity we are getting out of Sony E6600 plus 60mm Sigma f1.4 lens. Except, I am tending to look at the display instead of the lens. So I have to make a habit of this when I am vlogging. Or else it will be awkward. It will be like I am talking to someone who is above you. So, or else I will just wear shades like our YouTube god. Casey Neistat. <laughs> Let's see. This is what you get if you capture in the phone. I mean, you can see the difference, right? So this is how I look. I mean, I'm getting that background blur. That's for sure. But it's currently in f2.0. I can blur it even more. I can drag it till f1.4. But I don't want to do it. That looks too artificial. But yeah, I think this one's good. This is completely like if there is a good light. But if I turn it against light, I'm I'm getting either overexposed or underexposed. I think I need to use an ND filter for that. We'll learn to use that. But this is good, man. I like it. So this is what my setup looks as of now. I mean, I unboxed this uh, 
PG Vitek tripod. I did not attach the mic yet. I have to install a small rig on the top of this to do that. But see, the only problem I find this with tripod is like the base plate is not sturdy. I've locked it. See, but still, if you bend it, it's, there is a slight turn. I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna see if there is any way to do that, or I'll, I'm gonna return this and I'm gonna order a Joby, Joby one. But I really love this tripod versatility, man. So there's a plate here which I should attach, which is right behind this camera. So how much ever you tied this, it's still for the weight of the camera, it still slips like this. See, this is the only thing I did not like it. Otherwise, I would have kept this tripod. So I'm gonna return this tripod, and probably I'll go for the Joby one. So that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like I'll unbox the Joby one when it comes I don't know probably next or next vlog in the later vlogs so I'll see you in the next one bye bye